The WWE Universe just exploded. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Hardcore Championship. Making his way to the ring, representing the Mega Stars from London, England, weighing in at 230 pounds, Butler Alpha. Here we go, guys. We're going to finally have a champion after this one. And you have to imagine these superstars are feeling the pressure here. You don't come into a match of this magnitude without feeling it at least a little bit. Oh, are you guys ready? And representing damage control from New York, weighing in at 254 pounds, the Superstar! So much on the line here tonight, guys, as we look to crown a new champion. That's right, Cole. We're guaranteed to have a new champion at the end of this one. It's not very often you can say that. Don't forget, these guys are close allies, and it's not very often you see superstars so closely aligned battling each other. And I've been looking forward to seeing once and for all which one of these guys is the more dominant superstar. And here he comes. And representing the megastars from New York, weighing in at 228 pounds, the fighting champion, Gordon. Guys, we finally crown a new champion here tonight. That's right, the title's been vacant for long enough. One of these superstars will be going home tonight as the new champion. I'd say that he's among the most prideful superstars on the roster today. Well, when you accomplish what he's been able to accomplish, Michael, you have every right to be proud of yourself. Things are about to get good. And representing damage control from New York, weighing in at 280 pounds, the Violator Jason. Here we go, guys. We're finally going to crown a new champion here tonight. Cole, this match right here is the absolute definition of history making. Whoever wins this will forever have their name in WWE history books. And that's really saying something. And guys, you have to respect how much pride he has in what he does. I don't know, Michael. I understand the importance of having pride in what you do. But sometimes, I think he can be a bit overbearing. I don't know if he means to be, but that's definitely how he comes across at times. And here comes one of my favorites. And representing damage control from Springfield, Illinois, weighing in at 185 pounds. Yeah, he looks cool. Nightmare. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this match is for the vacant championship, which means tonight we finally crown one of these superstars as our next champion. And it's about time, if you ask me. Byron, he certainly seems to be showing more pride of late, wouldn't you say? I would, Michael, but he's got to be careful. There are more than a few whispers backstage about that pride possibly bordering on arrogance. Here comes the handsome and talented Umberto. Uh, uh, you forgot arrogant, Corey. And it's confident, Saxton. Los Lavarios from Monterey, Mexico, weighing in at 198 pounds, Umberto. An athlete who is both captivating and handsome. A true smooth operator between the ropes with lethal ability. Ty Schmidt is in the building. That's a true corn-fed boy. And representing the Toxic Table from Iowa, weighing in at 210 pounds, Ty Schmidt. Ty Schmidt has said he will leave his blood, sweat, and tears in that ring in order to secure the victory. Hopefully that's all that he'll leave in the ring. Ty said he's going to unleash his patented Hayseed Haymaker tonight. Uh, I didn't hear about that in wrestling school, but I guess we'll have to see what it means in just a few minutes. Well, guys, this ring's about to turn into a bar room. Here comes Brooks Jensen. And their opponent from Redburn, Alabama, weighing in at 243 pounds, Brooks Jensen. There's certainly a dive bar atmosphere with Brooks Jensen in action. And it's going to get worse for his opponent before it gets better. Russian cans and cracking skulls. Jensen's all party in the back and all business in the ring. A good old-fashioned country boy making his mama proud in WWE. Eight superstars in the ring to start this match, but there will be only one winner. Action from every angle, every superstar for themselves. It's going to be crazy to watch and do commentary for. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Now, this is the kind of match where you can really push the bounds of damage you can inflict. I'm not saying that a no disqualification match should mean carte blanche to do whatever you want to someone, but it does provide an opening to be creative in your offense. So be creative. He got 
whipped into that corner. And full control here. Face full of turnbuckle. Tilt to whirl. Oh, my goodness, what a knee strike. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Resume.